Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So first of all, I want to say happy Independence Day to all the lovely people from my beautiful island Barbados. I'm really happy to be celebrating Independence Day even though I'm actually not in the island at the moment. So today's video is basically going to be a fashion haul. So I am going to go through some stuff that I've purchased over the months of October and November. Tell you which stores I purchased them from and how much I got them for as well. First, I'm going to go through some three tops I actually purchased from Primark for £5 each. And first up is this lovely black faux leather top. And I really like this top because it's bang on trend in terms of the faux leather um, material. And I quite like that it's got this metal necklace like detailing at the top. So it looks like you're actually wearing a necklace, but it's part of the top as well. And at the back, it's actually not faux leather, but it's just plain um, black polyester or cotton. So this is quite cute. Another faux leather top I actually purchased as well would be this one and I love the fact that it's got ox blood, I love ox blood for the fall and um, this black faux leather over here as well as white at the back faux leather and the back of the top actually is just black, plain black faux leather as well so as you can see I am loving this trend you now and um, I think this will look quite nice with some thick tights um, to keep warm on bottom and some nice comeback boots. The third top, also for £5 from Primark I purchased, would be this lovely royal blue top. This is such a pretty top with this scallop hem at the bottom and um, this design here which is actually a cutout um, print of flowers, floral cutout print at the bottom. And um, I really plan on wearing this during the winter and the summer. It's quite a versatile top. During the summer, you can pair it up with some nice white shorts. Um, during the winter, you can wear it with thick black tights or jeans. So I'm really keen on wearing this top. On to River Island, so I purchased two skirts from River Island in their sale and this one, this first one is actually for, I got this for £8 I believe and it actually has this nice sparkly gold sparkle Gold sparkle detailing all throughout the skirt I think would be quite nice for the Christmas season. So it's green and it's got a bit of beige in it and this was for £8. I also purchased another, yes, another full leather skirt um, from River Island and this was for I think £12 and it's black full leather and it's actually got this detailing, it's nice black and white detailing and this royal blue colour at the side of the skirt and at the back you can see the actual detail goes all around the skirt as well. I've worn this once so far, I'll insert a picture to show you how it actually looks and I really like this skirt, it's bang on trend and it's so cute guys. So this was £12 thing with Ellen sale. First dress is this teal Aztec print dress which is a midi dress. Everyone knows I love my midi dresses because they're so classy. So the back of the dress actually has this keyhole feature as well as this netting material going around the perimeter at the top and um, I will insert a picture of this dress right here. I've worn this once before um, on my boyfriend's birthday. So another dress I actually purchased from New Look. I saw it earlier this year and I wasn't going to buy it for graduation but I decided not to and then I saw it in the sale for £8 so I was like yes I have to get this dress. So I was really excited when I purchased it. It was just for £8 originally to Penny two ninety nine, and it's this gorgeous dress that has an Aztec print um, royal blue detailing in the center as well as white panels on the sides and the back of the dress is just actually plain white so it is a midi dress again and um, I do plan on wearing this dress during the Christmas season. Another dress I purchased was actually from ASOS.com in their sale earlier in October and it is this multi-print dress. It is quite busy, not to everyone's taste, but I like the dress because it's different, I think. It has this snake detailing as well as these um, square, the square detail, yellow and blue detailing in the center and on the sides of the dress. It is a mini dress again, and the back of the dress is slightly low cut, but um, that adds to a nice feature as well. And this one is bodycon and it is a mini dress. So all the dresses that I have purchased are bodycon and they come just below the knee so they are midi dresses. The last two items I actually purchased are jackets. The first one is a denim jacket I got from Dorothy Perkins and I was looking for the perfect denim jacket because they are quite trendy and I always loved, from time I was small, I always loved denim jackets. So this one I got for £9, originally £32, so that is an amazing deal. And I like the fact that the collar has these 
silver stud detailings on either side and they're three studs and they have two the jacket has actually had two pockets at the front and it is surprisingly warm I've worn it so far a couple of times and with a cardigan inside and it keeps me quite warm I feel as though I'm wearing one my winter coats which is which is good for this kind of jacket isn't it it looks like a summery jacket but I do get away with wearing it during the winter so I quite like that and this is the back of the jacket and the next jacket I purchased from H&M and it is this faux leather and cotton jacket. Once again, you know I love my faux leather so um, this jacket has this beautiful lapel collar at the front and then it has at the sides two zips and a zip detail and coming down and it's paired with polyester and cotton on the sides and this is what the back of the jacket looks like. This jacket I purchased from H&M and it was £17 in their sale and I'm not, I don't believe this jacket is still available but you can try online to see if it is. So guys that completes my fashion haul for the months of October and November. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to comment below to let me know which items you actually preferred the most. And once again, what happy Independence Day to all of my fellow Bajans. I love Bonabat and I hope you're celebrating to the max today. So I'll see you guys soon on my next video. Bye!